Hello, my name is Georgina Wilding. I am Nottingham's first Young Poet Laureate and also the founding editor of Nottingham-based poetry publishing house Mud Press. Welcome to episode one of The Mud Hub. What is The Mud Hub? Well, The Mud Hub is a vlog series that I am putting together to answer any kind of questions that people might have about working as a creative, writing, you know, invoicing, all of that stuff. Because when I was first branching from corporate into creative, I had loads of questions and I just found myself inboxing all of my friends and colleagues who were freelance and who were working creative roles. And that, you know, without them, I wouldn't have really had access to that information. So this vlog series is set up with that in mind. You'll have noticed if you've been paying attention to the journey so far on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, I have been asking you guys to hit me up with some questions that you might have about creative life, about freelancing, about being a working poet, so that the content for these videos are generated by you. So please, if you watch this and you think of any more questions, leave some comments or drop me an inbox or, you know, get in touch and I'll be sure to try and answer them as best I can. This is episode one. So at the moment, it's super, super amateur. We are currently in my kitchen with the one blank wall in the house and my laptop, my little riser and a microphone. I'm hoping if this is something that you guys enjoy and you like doing, I will go on to get some proper video equipment and get all snazzy with you. But until then, it's you and me and the kitchen. Here we go. As I said, I posted online asking you guys for some questions and the response was absolutely great. I had so much come through and I've tried to break them down as much as I can so that they're clear and concise and I can hopefully provide you a good answer to everything. Georgina on Twitter, promise it's not me, has asked, how did you get to where you are now pragmatically? Great question. Really this kind of journey started out as I was finishing my degree in creative and professional writing at the University University of Nottingham and for my dissertation project I set up a trial run of what then became Mud Press. So I launched a themed competition which was Hunger as some of you might remember and I got really really terrified that no one would submit because it was a trial run and people didn't really know that mud would grow to be what it is now so I was yeah I was really scared that no one would submit but we got loads I think we got nearly 100 submissions on our first round so that was great and I took I think about 10 or 12 of them just for the trial run and um printed them off into a little homemade anthology I've actually got the original Hunger anthology. Da, da, da. It's got a little sticker on the top. You can see I'm marking them when I think they're nearly done. Back. Little notes. I'd got the list of poets in the wrong order. <laughs> The illustration on the front was actually done by a friend of mine who is now a tattoo artist in London, as you can tell by this illustration. Um, and a lot of work went into that cover, but really the layout of it, really, really simple, was all me. It didn't have any help from a graphic designer, which I'm sure you can tell, especially with the back. This was like cut and pasted from the little mouse here. It was all kind of chopped about. And inside, you can see that I was kind of experimenting with page layouts and experimenting with little hand-drawn kind of assets that complemented the cover because the, the idea was if I was to do this again the cover illustrations would always come up subtly inside the book yeah, like this it was really great to do I really really enjoyed the process of making this anthology and it really was a, a DIY job as you can tell this was printed on my printer at home and the spine is just staple bound and I was literally like laying this flat on a really fluffy carpet that I've got and hammering down with the stapler to kind of get it all together but it was amazing and it was kind of the start of the mud press journey really once I finished my degree I went on to look at getting mud press set up properly so I could do this for real and I got some mentorship from NBV New Business Ventures which is kind of a sister company to Real Creative Futures and they helped me decide on the name of Mud Press 
They helped me figure out what I wanted the identity of the books to be. And I went about reformatting the book and learning in design a little bit more. Eventually, with the help of a graphic designer this time, Hunger As You Know It was born. The difference between the two. It's just, it's just great. It's just incredible the difference a graphic designer who knows what they're doing makes and you know we have a proper spine although it wasn't actually thick enough to print any text on. We don't have that problem anymore because we get more submissions now but yeah first off it wasn't thick enough to have any spine text. It changed so you can see the beautiful Dinata here featured inside and we kind of used photography in beautiful black and white strangely cropped images to create impression of the poets um in the book as you can see is this jim yes this is lovely jim hall right just kind of an allusion to the poets um and then at the back we have a little commentary section where the poets kind of talk about their influences they talk about a little bit of reasoning behind where that poem came from or why they wrote the poem and then of course we have the little biographies and about the poets so yeah mud press was launched in october i think 2015 after having set out this template properly and, and, and got it all going. That's the same year that I actually graduated. So I graduated in I think maybe like June and by October, you know, I was registered as a sole trader and we'd got the Mud Press logo, we'd got the Mud Press website, all of the POS around Mud. Obviously, having graduated, I had no more student finance. I was working a weekend job all the way through my degree and actually in the last year and a bit of my degree I was working for Candlestick Press as well um, so I was learning a lot from them but there wasn't really any kind of financial support for me so Mud Press was run alongside whatever else I was doing for my job. And at one point, you know, I was teaching and running workshops in the week at the same time as performing and writing my own poetry, as well as working weekends at the wonderful boys in Arnold and, you know, working for Candlestick Press as well on their like social media and sorting out their postage and that kind of thing. So Mud has always had to run alongside everything else that I was doing to support myself for a living, which is challenging. And it's still that challenge to this day. Um, Mud Press is a whole other conversation, so I won't go into it too much. Unless, of course, you guys would like a special on Mud Press, let me know. Send me some questions and I'll walk you through it all. But yeah, so really, how did I get here starts with graduating, setting up Mud Press, moving from this amateur to this more professional and beginning to sell anthologies and really try and promote poetry as a medium that should be read and should be bought and should be supported. So that's really the first steps onto the journey that I've been on to get to here now. The next episode of The Mud Hub we will talk a little bit about how I create income now and how I've done it over the years. Thank you for tuning in to episode one. I hope that it gives you a little bit of insight into Mud Press, the first step on this journey. And I will see you in episode two.